welcome back to my youtube channel i am taylor p and we're going to get right into this video this is literally going to be the most beginner friendly video on how to dye your hair from black to red so first and foremost you're going to need a bowl a tint brush a rat tail comb along with 50 developer or you can use 40 developer i also used high color in the color red and high color in the color magenta I used three boxes of red and three boxes of magenta. So in total, you will need six boxes if you're coloring a 24 inch wig like I am. You're definitely going to need some gloves because you don't want to stain your nails. So right now I'm taking the 50 developer and I'm placing it all over my wig. And basically what I'm doing is a developer bath. So ultimately the goal is to get this wig to lighten up. So I'm looking for a dark, dark, dark chocolate wig by the end of this. So I'm just going to drench this unit and I'm going to keep it in this basket for about an hour to an hour and a half. So this is how your wig should look once you fully cover it in developer. And like I said, ultimately the goal is to lighten up this wig so that once we put the color on, it's capable of taking it really good. All right, let's get into mixing this color. So I'm about to give you guys some tips and tricks. Make sure you are listening. First and foremost, you wanna make sure you're doing a one to two ratio with your high color magenta or red along with the 50 developer or 40 developer you want to make sure your consistency looks exactly like this that is the trick to making sure you get the color that you desire secondly once you are putting the color on the unit you want to make sure you are putting a lot of color because Honestly, that's how you get the color that you desire, that bright red or that burgundy, that magenta look. You need to drench your unit. Those are my two tips and tricks. Make sure you guys definitely take them in. So right now, my cousin because i don't know if you guys noticed it is not me working on this wig i was stepping my cousin through this because i had some school work to do so right now she's using the rat tail comb to do the frontal specifically because we are not trying to get any color at all on the lace as you guys can see she is saturating the wig like I said, the best way to get the color that you desire is to put a lot of color on your unit. Look at me making a grand appearance to come and critique. <laughs> so right here, I definitely didn't want her to get any color on the lace. So I was just putting a T-pin in the wig just to make the process a little easier for her. So she's now doing the other side and like I said already, she's using the rat tail comb to make sure that she slowly puts the color on the hair and alleviates from getting any color on the lace. So this is how your wig should look once you are done saturating the entire color all over your wig. At this point, I was super, super excited because I just knew that my wig was gonna come out phenomenal. My cousin finished coloring the wig around 7 p.m. and we didn't wash it out until 7 a.m. the next morning. On top of that, I was sure to put a black plastic bag over the wig to make sure that the color absorbs properly. You definitely want to make sure that this wig sits overnight. Yeah. 
let's get into this color this wig came out exactly how i desired so once i washed it out i just allowed it to sit and air dry all right guys so this is how the wig came out it is literally a whole week that I've had this wig installed, but I just haven't had time to like come and record myself. So I got this unit installed by um, the Cartier Effect. I'm gonna definitely put her at in here. Um, I got it installed probably a week ago. Yeah, it's literally been a week now and um, my hair still looks phenomenal. As you guys can see, this color came out amazing. Like, y'all don't see no black marks whatsoever. Like, literally, the color changed perfectly, and um, I just love it. This method works so well for me, and I really hope that it helps you get this exact color because um, I believe that I was very, very detailed in this video. There's been many videos that I watched on YouTube, and I struggled to understand what they were doing. Like, they just weren't explaining it well enough for me so i honestly hope that i did a great job with this and definitely comment down below let me know if you guys love this look i'm gonna get cute probably tomorrow it is thursday right now so i'm probably gonna get cute tomorrow and put on some makeup and then maybe i'll throw a clip in here of how it looks when i'm going out so this is how the hair came out um i'm loving the color like i told you guys already in the last clip now i'm actually going out so i got cute and this is the look my hair phenomenal and this is a whole week and a half later of this install and just get into the color guys like i'm not playing games with you guys this method is phenomenal get into the color you won't see any black streaks with this so i really hope that this video helped you guys up definitely leave me a thumbs up and let me know if you enjoyed this video i'll definitely make more videos like this well, i hope that this video really helped you guys out i loved how my hair came out and i know that if y'all do this exact method it will come out the exact same way i'm really excited for you guys to try it out make sure you share and go ahead and subscribe to this channel because i'm definitely coming with so much more content. I love you guys. Bye. I'm just trying to step my cake up. I'm just trying to love my neighbor. I'm just trying to love myself. Kid down, don't need no makeup.